So generally, uh, what we're going to do is to write a code. Instead of spitting this out on the screen, the code will sign or check first of all. Let's see what we wrote here. First of all, it's going to check if the user exists at all because Facebook is sending us the user email among other things. Look at it here. The user email comes among other things. So we're going to use the user email to check whether the user already exists in our database. If the user already exists, that means they have signed up before so we can skip and then log them in but if they have not signed up before we'll sign them up after which we log them in okay so i hope it makes sense right now then another thing i want to let you know is that instead of us i don't want to start uh, spending time uh, typing out code manually so i'm gonna try and save your time sometimes by just pasting the code i've already written okay so if we get to a place where i have to pause and write the code I'll do that, but I'll paste, then I'll explain the code line by line. What you can do is to pause the video. So I'll look at it right here. I'm going to remove this DD, right? And of course, all the things I've, I've, I wrote before, I'm going to remove them. Okay, so we're good now. So we go to the we go to Facebook, uh, get the detail, okay? And once we get the detail, uh, we can then work with it right here. So for the variables not to clash, I'm going to rename this to anything, user social, okay? So I've renamed this variable. So this one get, goes to Facebook, gets the whole data, saves it in user social. So the first thing we want to check is whether this user exists. To do that, we we'll make a call to the user's database and check whether the, there, is an, that there, there is any email that has uh, the value of this user's email that's coming from Facebook. Look at, look at this, so user social slash user. If you come here, we're doing user social uh, with that arrow user. Look at user. Inside user, we have email. So that's what we're doing here. We have user social, the whole data. Inside it, we have user. Then inside it, we have email. So that's what we're doing. So there, we've checked. We're trying to retrieve the first uh, record where this uh, where this exists. So we're saying if it exists. We're going to try and log the user in using the user ID. This is a Laravel function that you can log a user in using their user ID. So we get the user ID of this user that we found. That is, if we found him or her, we log the user in, then we redirect to home, which is the dashboard. But if the user doesn't exist, we'll sign the user up. Okay? So we sign the user up, which is um, user sign up create create this user so we're taking the name they gave us uh, facebook is giving us give it facebook is giving us name inside user name so we have it here facebook gives us name inside user okay so they give us an email inside user then we're going to create a password for this person we know that this person will never use the password but for our system to work we need a password so we're just going to encrypt anything so in this case i'm just encrypting one two three four in your own case you want to change this key here okay so it just runs it on encryption okay and then uh the avatar is a profile picture because we want to save the profile picture if you look at the data facebook is returning you see that here there is an avatar and here is the link also um we have avatar original too if that's what you want to use it's basically like a a bigger version of the picture right? Look at the width, 1920, okay? So uh, we have Facebook profile. We just want to save. Uh, in case we need it later, we, we may not need it, but we just want to save the Facebook profile. It's inside link, Facebook. So we have go to link, in, in link inside user. Then we save the gender. It's inside gender. I don't think there is any other thing of value that we want to save. We don't need the Facebook user ID for nothing. So this is basically what we need to see. Okay. Um verified i don't know but i don't think we need it so this works so once the user has been signed up we can finally log the user in using their id there's a better way you can arrange this code to make more sense but for me um i think this will do it for now so if you're a better programmer there's a better way to arrange this code to make sure that uh it um, works perfectly so this way we're gonna try uh, but before before we proceed we want to make sure that um, we have all these fields in our database so far. So if we go to our database, uh, of course it will ask us to log in again. 
uh, to check what's on our database, we have to go to the migration. We have name, email, password, avatar, Facebook profile, and gender. I don't think we have these last three in our database. To confirm that, remember where we declared what will be in our database first. That's in database uh, migrations inside users. So if we go to users, we'll see that there's name, email, password, but then uh, it's still missing the the avatar these three guys these three guys are still missing so we're gonna create them to create it i'll duplicate this so on my keyboard i do ctrl c then ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v that's into three places so uh the first one will be avatar second one will be facebook profile third one will be gender so if you want to read more about uh, how to do uh this migration just go to Laravel documentation, Laravel documentation, and search for migration. So read up migration. So I just want to show you the Laravel documentation to migration. Make sure you're on the internet. This search doesn't work outside the internet. So you click on this one in migrations. Then you take your time to read when it opens, okay? I already uh, have it offhand. That's why I'm able to uh, work with it. So read this. So now we want to make it optional that people will have a profile picture. So I'll, I'll do not label. It's optional. You must not have a profile picture. Uh, we don't want a. Uh, it's optional. You might not have. You must not have a Facebook. No, you must because we must sign in through Facebook. Um, you must not have a gender. That's optional. And what else is optional? Um, nothing else. And the password is unique. Good. So we're good to go. So what we're going to do is to run migration again. So we'll go um, to our code and run migration again. PHP artisan migrate. This time we're going to do fresh refresh. It will clear everything we saved in a database. Remember we signed up one user before. That one will be gone. It will be cleared. And then it will reconstruct our database while adding these fields. All right. So I'm just going to click enter. And then we're gonna chill. So that works now. So what we're gonna do is to go and test our login code. So if we go back to our code, we're going to go to our app slash login. If everything works well, once we click on that Facebook button, it will log us in, okay? To take us to Facebook, then bring us back and log us in. So I'll click on this and chill. Of course, we already we're always getting this. The reason we're getting this is that the last request that went to Facebook hasn't been processed by us. That's why it's throwing this off. So if you get this and just keep your eyes here, if it reads no message, you just have to click on this and hit enter. Of course, we didn't import user in our file. So if we go back to our user login controller, we're using this. Um, model but we didn't import it so we have to go to the top of our file to import it so we're going to the view do use app oops app user so the reason why it's app user is because if you come and look at the way our app is structured look at the way our app is structured you have app folder that is this app inside app folder at the bottom of it you have user Okay, so we're basically trying to import. This is the model that makes call to databases and everything. We're basically trying to import it. That's why we say use app user. Then here, we are going to add all the fields we want to make it possible for people to add when they are signing up. So uh, one of them is avatar. One of them is Facebook or URL. And the last one is gender. We want to make it, if you don't list these fields here, uh, when people fill your sign up form, the fields that are not listed here will not show up on the database. They will not be filled on the database. Laravel will toss them out, okay? So, uh, in this case, we just want all these fields to reflect. So, we're going to go back to our app, go back to our Facebook login, login Facebook. Of course, no message. So, like I told you, you will always get this a whole lot if you are trying to set up your Facebook to work well 
So we're gonna click it one more time. No message. So this says um, general error of Facebook profile doesn't have a default value. Uh, let's cross check that we're not making a mistake. I think it's Facebook URL. How, how did we get to Facebook profile? Um, in login, let's check the field. Oh, Facebook profile. It's, um, it's not Facebook URL. We're going to have to try again. We didn't import odd to uh, one of our codes, so we need to import odd. Odd is Laravel's uh, facade for making sure that the user is logged in. You can use this to check if the user is logged in. In fact, manage all your logins. So we're going to import odd too. We can do use odd. And we're good to go. So we can try it one more time. So I'm refreshing. no message of course we're going to delete all this so login Facebook so this involves a lot of patience getting the URL the exact URL because the URL is always changing so it has already logged us in which means it worked so I'm going to log out and try it again I've logged out click on login login with Facebook So user is logged in. Like I said, once you're not connected to the internet, that error will keep throwing up. So log out again, just to try it one more time. Login, login with Facebook, and then you have to click on this. So this works. Oh, all right. So the reason why we're getting that method not allowed exception, let me just show you that error one more time. The reason we're getting it is because we are trying to log in from a form instead of from a URL. Look at this guy, this button is inside a form. But if we go back to, let's go and see the button. Uh, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna delete this. So the login, look at the login file. You see that this button is inside a form and the form is making a post request. So, but in our own case, if we look at the the route web.php you see that it takes a get request okay so which means the login should just be um, it should basically be a, a an anchor tag href okay. so if we can we can delete all this all right we're good so this is basically a, a link that points to this route and that we're going to the most type and uh, has this button and this has login with Facebook so let's go and refresh and then we have this so finally everything should work out well now We should just be logged in straight up. See, we're logged in. So it works perfectly now. Like I told you, some of this takes patience, but you should just know what you're doing so that whenever an error throws up, you'll be able to study that. Look at this. Click on login. Click on login with Facebook, and we're logged in. That's it. All right. It doesn't register us twice. If somebody is trying to uh, register a new account, uh, it will create the person's account before logging the person in. Thank you. See you in the next video.